Hi, my name is Taylor Edwards and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Monroe's Motivated Sequence. So this is used in Psychology of Persuasion to help develop an outline for speeches. It is made up of five steps. Step one being you need to get the audience's attention. Use storytelling, humor, really anything to grab the audience's attention will work. Step two is to establish a need. You need to find a problem in your audience that relates to them, that they can understand and say, oh, I need, I need help in that department. Then you can offer them a change or a solution. And then that leads you to step three, which is satisfying that need. So this is where you introduce your solution. You talk about the facts, you give details, explain what the audience and why the audience needs to believe in your solution. You use examples and you need to be prepared to counter argue any misconceptions about your solution. Step four is to visualize the future. Basically, how will the audience's future look if nothing is done about this problem? The audience's problem needs to be addressed sooner. So again, you need to be detailed and persuasive. You need to be precise about these details as well. Finally, step five is action. You finally tell your audience what they can do to solve their problem. Don't go overboard though. You need to be sure, but be sure to give them options because when you give the audience options, they feel like they're more in control. So basically you want to relate and help the audience. The Monroe's Motivated Sequence ensures your success in that department. Thank you for listening.